I think excellence draws young people. I think young people today are just like they were 64 years ago. They're drawn together uh, to the Lions All-State Band because they know it's, it's a two-week period, band-wise, that's going to be like heaven. They know for those two weeks that they're going to get to achieve uh, a level of excellence that they can't achieve anywhere else at their home schools or anything else. Mississippi Lions Band is a group of 145 young people from Mississippi. They survive a two-stage audition process. Uh, they come from every part of Mississippi. We have 54 different high schools represented this year. Uh, the Lions Band has been in existence. This is its 64th year. It's sponsored by the Lions of Mississippi, and its main purpose is to represent them at their annual convention. They have to survive a two-stage audition. Each, uh, the first stage, they, a student goes before five judges. Then we bring them back to a second tryout with a totally different set of judges. So we're, we're getting the very best we can. Every year, whenever you audition, you go into this practice room and you get a chance to warm up and get ready for your actual audition. And you hear all the players in there and you're like, wow, they're all amazing and it's pretty nerve-wracking, especially when you know how great all the players are. I had tried out my freshman year and I didn't make it. Um, I made callbacks, but um, it was really hard for me, but I took that as a way saying I need to work harder, and whenever I worked harder, it all paid off in the end. Uh, one of the worst things I ever saw was a child that had been in, in the Lions band for three years, had made callbacks, made the, made the cut for the second one, and then didn't make it at all. And after having been in it for three years, he came from a family of four brothers that had all been four-year members. So nobody is guaranteed a spot, nobody. And I think that's one of the reasons it's been really good for a long time. You can make it this year and not easily not make it next year. Adjust your broad, please. Adjust it to the woodwinds. Woodwind, make sure you're in line. Just go to a standby with your feet together. The kids lovingly call camp Hell Week. And it's, it's very, very difficult. Uh, the day starts just before 6 every day. Uh, the staff wakes the kids up. We have breakfast at 7. We start marching at 8. Um, we take a little break in the middle of the morning. Then we have concert rehearsal till noon. Then we have rehearsals again in the afternoon. Take a little break for supper. Then we come back and march for two more hours. Take a little short break, and then we do concert rehearsal till 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, they go to bed, and then we start all over the next day. Let's just say that, that uh, traveling with 145 students is not your most ideal vacation travel arrangements. But uh, if you're going to travel with 145 students, these guys are the best. This year, we have 80 seniors that have graduated from high school. We have a lot of repeat students, so they're travel savvy. They know how to get around. We have a, a really high trained staff that, I mean, we've been preparing for this trip really since before last year's trip was over with. We're gonna hike Diamond Head. We're going to s snorkel in Hanama Bay. We're going to take them, uh, let them have surf lessons on Waikiki Beach. So not to mention the performances and, and things like that. So they're going to be really busy. Every year, the, the Lions International has a um, a parade competition in conjunction with their convention. And the Mississippi Lions Band has won the competition more than any other all-state band. In fact, more than any of the others combined. The band has not been uh, defeated since 1999. I get nervous sometimes, you know, when we go and compete, and I'm worried one year, it's like, oh, this is my year, I'm gonna be in it. I don't wanna mess it up for everybody and ruin the streak but we're doing pretty well, and I, I don't think we're gonna mess the streak up anytime soon. Well, here's the thing. We never talk about winning or losing, ever. What we talk about is achieving excellence, both individually and as a group. We understand that our streak's gonna come to an end someday. Someday somebody's gonna figure it out, and, and they're gonna do what it takes to do what our band does. And, and I think, honestly, our kids will be 
be okay with that. And once a, a student or any of us, that's a life lesson. Once you've done your personal best, how much more can you give? And so uh, they, they take great pride in the knowledge that if somebody beat them, they must be pretty good. I want it to be a life-changing experience for them, a positive life-changing experience. I want them to make friends that will last them forever. And hopefully we're achieving that. Lions Band has just really helped me grow. It's helped me lead others. And you really feel more responsible, I guess, because they you're pretty much like expected like at the high standard and you have to meet those. And so um, it's really just grown me as a person and I absolutely love it. It's made me want to do music more. It's encouraged me because it's surrounded me by people who enjoy it as much as I do. And it's what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I'm going to major in music and Lions Band's played a large role in that. Thank you.